I send the chase in the morning because I want to get this shit right. Oh my gosh, you guys, actually, it's such an amazing animation. I have a feeling it's not enough information, I think, for me when I'm going through my jaw surgery. I'm actually planning to. Okay, you guys, as you may know, cats are expensive, and what more expensive than cats is cat food and cat litter. Anyways, look how much litter we just got. This is 40 liters of litter. One bag. They can poop as much as they want now. Oh my god, so much food. Even I don't have so much food for myself in my fridge right now. We got crazy with this food supplies. I hope it will be enough for at least a month or two months. Holy shit, look at this huge world cannon bag. The one we had was teeny tiny. But anyway, I hope our cats grow healthy and don't get too fat. She's already exploring the litter. Do you want to poop on it? Do you want to go in the box? She's gonna go in the box. Which box are you gonna go into? The empty one or the one with the food? Okay, she needs more time. Hey guys, today is Thursday and I decided to chase on my yesterday's email when I asked them for a list of things and scans and x-rays and all that stuff and nobody replied to me and it's now 12 o'clock. So what I did, I sent a chase in the morning because I want to get this shit right. And they got back to me. So what happened is my treatment coordinator actually got back to both of us because everyone is in CC and she said that they actually have a shit ton more scans that they've done on my face than i thought for example the cbct scan was already there i had it and i didn't know i had it so they had opg sep cbct scan and various random x-rays taken i have them all already and the lucas community practice asked to send over all of those scans and i am doing it now i got them sent over to me all of those scans. I hope that I will be able to open it on my computer just like the 3D scans, the iTero intro scans that I've shown you in my last vlog. So yeah, exciting stuff. Let me see if I can open it. I'm so excited to see what it looks like. I hope I can. Okay, it doesn't seem like I can. Yeah, it doesn't seem like I can open it. We just got this delivery from Google because we work with google not for google anyway we also as it stands got a kitten inside as a gift and i think she's struggling i mean she's having a good time but is she going to leave this place no i guess it's like a holiday destination for her i think she'll bite her way for it just like my hamster did this month oh my god what a fucking mission and also so bright so i've sent the cbct scan in two formats as my treatment coordinator sent it in two formats just in case to make sure that the team on the around uh, guys who look at all of the scans can access it and they come back to me and say they can't what the actual fuck so i have a feeling they only opened one of them one formats and i've just tagged them to the other formats so they could check if they can open that it's just so strange to me. I, I thought there would just be one universal scan format for all these things, but I don't know. Maybe maybe it's difficult to like transfer files like that between between each other. I don't know. Let's see what they say. I really fucking hope they can open it because if they can't, Bob will have to pay 150 pounds to get the, the CBCT scan in their practice just because they can't open. Nah, it's not gonna happen. Okay guys, so it finally happened, they were able to access the other CTB, CTBT, oh my god, the, the fucking scan, the scan, <laughs> they accessed it. So I have all scans on my file now and I don't think they're asking for anything else, I don't think they need anything else, I think we're good. I mean, I could provide an overview of treatment, but I, I don't know, she's not asking for it. Anyway, all good, all good to go, next week's Thursday and I'm super excited. So I decided to go for a longboard session and I am not regretting this. It's been really cool, really awesome. I want to say that I am so stoked that everything worked out in the end and they got all the scans that they needed and 
everything is going according to plan apart from the most important thing to port and AXA insurance and all that stuff I'm trying not to think about it too much it's just not happening i keep thinking about it if worst comes to worst i'll just have to pay for everything i'll just get a loan or something i don't know Hey guys, it is Saturday, the 10th of June, and a lot of stuff happened today. So my brother got a new baby. I'm now an auntie of two, which is amazing. And my parcel got delivered finally to them. So they got all the baby clothes and all, all those little things that I sent over. We're going to go to the cinema and we're gonna have some ramen because he really wants some ramen. I actually guys forgot to mention, I have new glasses and they are already tinted and it feels amazing. When I put them on, I didn't realize that they got tinted like right away. But now if I compare no glasses versus with glasses, it feels amazing. Like my eyes don't hurt. I don't go like, ah against the sun it's awesome and they have this purple tint to them to protect from the uv anyways everything just happened today in one day and it's a good day so far This food, this ramen place was really good. I'm like so full right now. I couldn't even like finish the full thing. Oh my gosh, you guys, it actually is such, such an amazing animation. Like, I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend watching it. There's a whole anime and an anime movie for this on Netflix. And like the second movie came out last December, but they started showing it in cinemas now. And yeah, definitely so good. Like whole freaking cinema was crying because it was so touchy. Hey guys, so we're on our way home and I think it's going to take us about an hour and a half to get home and I'm starving so I'm having this donut. Hey guys, it's Sunday. I'm here stuck trying to clean this new little we got of the sleeping bag and it's an absolute mission it's taking me forever it sticks to cat's fur so badly and then it just goes everywhere and virtually impossible to like get rid of it so i'm stuck doing that other than that i was telling somebody yesterday that the things are moving and i am having a joint clinic appointment next week maybe moving a bit too fast because i still didn't get my report and i still don't know whether my insurance will cover it so that is really stressful because what will happen if my insurance can't cover it the thing is the surgeon operates in a really posh private hospital daily stay there is from what i've heard is 10k so it's one of the most expensive hospitals and if my insurance can't cover it i just won't be able to afford it um funnily enough the surgery itself costs seven and a half k the double one and the hospital stay just one day is 10k it just doesn't make any sense to me anyway if my insurance doesn't cover it i have to go with a different surgeon so every single step that we've taken up till today just be or come and done and it's not the ideal situation I, I don't want to be in that position you know at the same time remember i called them they didn't tell me any prices or anything though i asked three times and they said that they will fight for me insurance wise and all that stuff it may sound reassuring over the phone but then when, when the reality kicks in and things don't go the way we want them to go i am the one who is left in this crappy situation where i have to last minute change surgeon change this that the other and all that stuff and 
it's not it's not a good place to be in because like you know how important it is for a surgeon to work with the orthodontist and all that stuff so i don't want to be in that situation and also what sucks is i feel like they put the brown tint on my glasses so there was an option to choose from gray to brown tint and i have a feeling it's like brown tint you can't see it transparent at the moment but i'll give it some time like it will it'll tint a bit it was supposed to be gray but i think it's brown so i'll have to go back there to like ask talk to them about it because i prefer the gray tint so you guys i was thinking about it recently you know how all of the recovery logs i've seen guys are posting day of the operation three days post-op a week post-op two weeks post-op big milestones i have a feeling like it's not enough information i think for me and when i'm going through my jaw surgery i'm actually planning to release a vlog on a daily basis um up until one month i think uh, i mean depends on like what i'm going through and all that stuff the first week most probably it will be like half day vlogs i'm expecting to have a lot of information and i feel people don't do that often and i think it's needed i need it anyway i think i'm going to be vlogging a lot since you know i'm vlogging a lot before up and i understand that not all of my logs are like interesting to watch because they don't have any like, solid jaw surgery related information it's important for people like myself who are like overthinking things and who want to know as much as possible pre-op post-op and all that stuff so i expect to vlog a shit ton and release a shit ton and I kind of wanted my channel to be like the channel for jaw surgery. Another thing that I wanted to say, you guys, is that you know people post pictures post of, but when they do, they're like trying to take those pictures at like an angle, at still at a favorable angle. And I wonder, is it because they they're so used to their pre or good look angles, like picture angle, that they just can't like look straight in the camera? Because for us to assess the before and after and understand what happened and why we need to have straight face scenario straight face 45 degree angle 90 degree angle none of like that kind of thing you know because it doesn't work it just doesn't work and people people do that i don't understand why they do that so it may be either psychological from the pre pre-op maybe they're just used to doing that because they've been doing that their whole life or maybe they're still unsure of their post-op results and they just want to show you the less swollen parts but imagine being frustrated with your results post-op it will really mess with you uh, and i don't think it will help your recovery but yeah sometimes i wish people would just photos of themselves as they are though it is their biggest insecurity this jaw surgery instagrams and facebooks are designed for that okay last thing i promise uh you know when i told you the other day that i got fat i just gained a lot of weight like a lot of fat belly and i never had it before and i'm plus three kilos from the weight that I had my whole life and it's like it's not comfortable for me to like feel that so i'm planning to to do what i've always wanted to have i just want to have really strong muscles so yeah i just want to have that so i'm doing a lot of core exercises and this week actually i've done really well well this has been my first week but so the first day you saw me trying to exercise a bit and i did some spinning and i've gone outside for like a long board session and then i did another core workout so i'm sticking to two days of core workouts and yeah definitely i'm not walking around anymore I'm, i mean i'm just staying at home all day and i haven't changed my diet like surely with the lack of exercise anyone is expected to gain weight i'm really excited and it, it just makes me happy and also it gets me moving and gets me going and it's a healthy thing to do especially when you are getting to a 30 year mark i feel like i'm just going down in health so badly my eyesight went to shed my back aches well i started getting those and yeah i just stopped moving around i spent so much time before like playing drums and that was such a huge physical workout carrying drums around the city and then playing and was just all, a lot of physical stuff and endurance stuff and it's all gone now so i have to start doing something else to make up for that and to keep my physical activity on a level higher than none mm -hmm.